In this video, we're going to look at plugin processing options in Pro Tools. There are two types of plugins in Pro Tools, file-based plugins and real-time plugins. In Pro Tools, file-based plugins are called audio suite plugins, whereas real-time plugins are called either TDM, RTAS, or AAX. Many Pro Tools plugins are available in both file-based and real-time versions, so it's up to you to decide which is best for a particular application. Let's start with audio suite plugins. Audio Suite plugins are used for file-based signal processing. When you apply an Audio Suite plugin, you can choose whether to create a new whole file clip or whether to modify the original whole file clip. In almost every case, you'll want to create a new whole file clip. That way, you're not destructively editing your original data. You can see here that I have a simple session with one line of dialogue. That's one down. Let's go ahead and apply an Audio Suite Reverse plugin to this clip. Reverse is an example of an effect that can only be applied using an Audio Suite plugin. With the clip selected, I'll go to the Audio Suite menu, Other, and choose Reverse. And the Reverse plugin window will open. We'll want to make sure that the file mode is set to create individual files, that the selection reference is set to Playlist, that the Use in Playlist button is highlighted, and that our process mode is set to Clip by Clip. We'll discuss these options further in subsequent videos. Once you've set the settings the way you like them, you can click the Preview button to hear a preview of the effect. I didn't know that. Once you're satisfied with the preview, you can click the Render button to apply the process. And now we can play back the process clip to make sure that it sounds the way we want it to. I didn't know that. Real-time plugin processing in Pro Tools is accomplished with a different set of plugins. Depending on your system, you may use Time Division Multiplexing or TDM plugins, Real-time Audio Suite or RTAS plugins, or Avid Audio Extension, or AAX plugins. Oftentimes, you'll go to the Mix window in order to apply a real-time plugin, but they can be applied from the Edit window. By clicking on the Edit Window View selector, we can show the Inserts view without having to go to the Mix window. The primary benefit of real-time plugins is that you can hear plugin changes instantaneously and continue to make changes to the settings until you're ready to bounce to disk or export the file. Let's go ahead and apply some reverb to our reverse dialog clip using a real-time plugin. First, I'll click on Insert A, and I'll select Plugin, Reverb, and Insert the Dverb plugin, and the plugin interface will appear. We'll just go ahead and select a preset for now as a starting point. And then we can audition this effect by simply hitting play on the transport. I didn't know that. Then you can go ahead and adjust the plugin settings to taste. I didn't know that. And that's all we need to do. The great thing about real-time plugins is that we can always come back and change the settings later. 